Welcome back. It's 7.05. At least half of Texas is dealing with an extreme drought right now. Farmers are having to turn to an unlikely source to reduce water usage. Robots. KXAN's Eric Henriksen takes an in-depth look at the bots at a new Lockhart facility and how they're helping in the battle against climate change. This is Grover, one of the many robots roaming the floors of this hydroponics farm in Lockhart. Grover moves these modules to different places on the farm to different work cells. Sarah Ossentoski is the Senior Vice President of Engineering at Iron Ox. We've designed a system that's very modular and flexible that allows us to give the plants exactly what they need and when they need it. From 3D photos to measuring nitrogen levels with another robot named Phil, Iron Ox uses machine learning to analyze their crops. We're trying to measure everything about that plant experience at all the different stages. The data they gather can help them produce more food. We collect better data and then like get rid of some of the inefficiencies. Inefficiencies that can contribute to climate change. According to a 2021 report by the United Nations, food production accounts for about a third of greenhouse gas emissions. Climate change has a direct impact on farmers. According to the nonprofit Climate Central, frequent droughts are putting freshwater supplies in jeopardy. Agriculture makes up over 70% of our fresh water today, but the reality is about 90% of that water never even reaches the plants. Iron Ox CEO, Brandon Alexander. We designed our system with our hydroponics to give only the exact amount of water that plant needs and nothing it doesn't. The National Park Service says that hydroponics use 10 times less water than traditional farming. It's not just the reuse, it's also like really targeting what's needed when it's needed. While this technology sounds beneficial, it could have its drawbacks. Is there any concern this technology could mean jobs taken away from human farmers? Robots are really good at these very rote, very um, repetitive jobs, but when you get to like creativity, people are so good at that. Sarah says creative problem solving is essential. The systems we have in this automation working together with humans get you this really, really efficient farm that like serves the community quite well. In Lockhart, Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News. So Iron Ox is already growing herbs and lettuce. They're hoping to start growing more advanced produce like strawberries and cucumbers in the near future. Pretty cool stuff there.